Good day, McVay, and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Okay, let's get to our projects for today. First up is a project on uh, gemstones, also um, birthstones. So if you were born in, let's say, August, your birthstone is Peridot, uh, P-E-R-I-D-O-T. Or if you were born in July, your birthstone is Ruby, which happens to be one of the uh, gemstones or birthstones that Tristan did a project on. So Ruby is red and they are very rare. How about Amethyst? Purple. Uh, and it's known for being a calming stone. So this is a project and we've had some other projects on gemstones, but not with the characteristics the way that Tristan has given to us. Now our next project today is about being under the sea. This is also from Tristan, who uh, looked at swordfish, sailfish, and giant squid. So did you know that the swordfish is found in the Pacific Ocean and a giant squid in the Atlantic? Huh. Now, if you are in third grade, which is why I picked these two projects for today, you might know which ocean is closest to us and which ocean is close to California. Which ocean can we go to? Which one? It's very close to us. All right, not too far away. Now, the other project I have today, which is super cool, is uh, a, check this out. Somebody spent a lot of time making a image. This is an image of a Chromebook, even with some stickers on the front. Now, I don't know who did this because there's no name. This took a lot of time, and I love that you're getting smart through art. All right, moving on to our Wordle. All right, so we know that this is an E because it's the most used vowel. This is also an E, and we said this one, my antenna is running out, it can be either a consonant or a vowel. All right, now, today's clues. All right. All right, so, this letter, this letter, And this letter are all a vowel, and it's the second most used vowel in our language. All right. All right, so miss, we have our mystery number. So this one, we know it has three digits, and they're all homonyms. We know that this one is odd, and it's a homonym. So that makes it has to be one. Because three is not a homonym, five is not a homonym, seven is not a homonym, neither is nine, but one is. We have one, O-N-E, and we have one, I won the game, W-O-N. Uh, now, these two digits are also homonyms and they're the same number. Just like last week, two homonyms, so they're, uh, they're even, all right, now it's time for a Mighty Kind Moment of the Day. Let's get a drum roll. Da, da, da. Okay, so the Mighty Kind Moment of the Day is from room 220. Now, I don't know who wrote this. I think it's anonymous. I think this came from a student in 220, but here's what it says. In gym, nobody wanted to put away the jump ropes. So they, there was a little bit of an argument, it seems like, who would put away the jump ropes. Now, let me say, the first thing that should have happened is rock, paper, scissors to figure out who would put away the jump ropes. But turns out they didn't have to do that. Naomi jumped in and did it. Now, uh, that is a wonderful way to be kind because sometimes things have to get done and people don't want to do it. For example, maybe at home 
taking out the garbage or doing something that that others may not want to do. Well, you jump in and do it. That is being mighty kind. Yes, taking on a responsibility that somebody else may not uh, want to have right now or needs help with. Yep, mighty kind. And anybody can do that. Why? Because you're a mighty mind. Not only that, a mighty kind, mighty mind. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.